Hello! I think the sound is actually right right now. Um, I don't know. I wonder if it's able to be well heard or not. I'm listening to music for once behind this and it's like, woo! I've actually been like stretching and all sorts of stuff. Um, it feels really nice. I haven't been doing this for a long time, but like I started this dance class with one of my Australian friends, Jody. And um, she and I are taking private lessons with another co-worker, another friend, um, who specializes in salsa. So that's kind of crazy. Like, I've never done salsa before. I used to dance a lot when I was a kid, but I never was able to... Okay, no. I wasn't able to after we moved to Wyoming. Because I was for a little short while, and I was in, like, clogging and, like, um, some modern stuff. But by the time I was... Oh, my... 11, maybe, 12, um, I had to stop because the teacher quit, and I don't remember how long I did clogging, I think it was until about the same time. Clogging was fun, it was, it was really kind of corny because it's just like, it's very honky townish, you know, at least with the type we were doing. It's that where, um, it's not, some people think, when I say clogging, they think like, uh, is it Swedish? I don't even know what culture. Those wooden clogs and with the little pointy uh, toes, and that's not what it was. It was you just take regular shoes. I had these like white, I think they were slip-on, almost tennis shoey shoes. Not tennis shoes, because tennis shoes, you know, I don't think you slip those on. But they're just these white long things that you are, and you glue these metal taps onto them. So it's not really tap shoes, but it's like two pieces of metal that are connected, and so they click, 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 and stuff. <laughs> And um, we would meet in the cafeteria of one of the elementary schools in Orland for, uh, I don't even remember how long, how many days a week or how long we spent or whatever, but just clogging away to like, the uh, oh my gosh, Brooks and Dunn and stuff like that. And so that was the time when I was really into country music because that was what I was dancing to and stuff. But we just started this, um, we had our first lesson finally this past Tuesday because, um, what happened? I don't even remember. We were supposed to start like two weeks ago or something. It was so long ago. At the beginning of this month, I think. Yeah, we were supposed to have our first lesson on the 2nd. And our first lesson was on the 17th. Um, the 2nd, something happened. I think both of us were feeling really icky, like sick or something. Like I don't think I'd slept much at all that night and like I, I woke up at like 1 or 2 in the afternoon or something. Our lesson was supposed to be at 4. And luckily, Jody called me and was like, um, she might have had something to do, I can't remember. And was, so we called Diana and said, we cancel, sorry. And luckily it was okay, because like, Monday's her day off usually, so we changed it to Tuesday. And then last week, Jody sprained her ankle a little bit or something. She twisted it, she didn't sprain it. She just twisted it, so she's like, I don't think I should do it. And we're like, no. And like, we saw her at work later on, and she's like limping. It's like, you couldn't have done anything like that, don't do that. And so we finally met this past Tuesday, and it was great. We didn't actually do much dancing. We were um, concentrating on the stretches and all these things that you do, like the S and the C's. It's like, um, <laughs> these things are, it's like you bring your arms around like this because like in the front, you're supposed to like stick your pelvis out and down and stuff, and your back out. And then when you're up, your chest is out, and your butt's out, back, and your knees are down, and all this other stuff. And so you're supposed to make the, like, when you're up here, you're supposed to be in the shape of an S. Kind of like your back goes in, and then your butt out and stuff. And when you're on the side, it's like you're making a C, and in the front, a C, and in the side, another C. And so we're doing those, and we're doing some other stuff with our chests, like pumping it out, and do, pushing our spines back, and all this stuff with alignment. Like, we did this, like, ballet thing. It looked like we're... Um, we're up on one leg with the other leg out, and then one hand's up and the other arm's out. We're spinning in circles just with our, trying to keep balance and trying to stay aligned, and then we're doing these yoga moves and all sorts of stuff, and it was great. It felt so good. And then yesterday I was so sore, I couldn't believe it, and I haven't done anything for like, um, oh, I feel like I'm spitting. Um, I don't know, over a month, maybe two or three months even, maybe even longer. Oh my gosh, maybe like six months. Holy freaking cow. Um, haven't been to like a gym or anything because I finally did quit my gym because I wasn't able to go. It's so freaking hot right now. Well, I was doing all this stuff and then it's hot anyway, so it's like, ugh. Um, so my body's like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> and it was really good though. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. But I'm excited that, to find, that we're finally starting up with that again. And I hope to get into it a lot more. 
and we're we're gonna see how it goes because like Jody is hopefully getting a good job soon but that means that we might have to stop at the time we are try to find a new time and then Diana our teacher has to um, she'll be changing schedule to come July or something like that so it's like oh who knows what's going on but for the time being for the next one or two weeks it's quite nice it's fun so enough about dance but it's like woo um, woo I have a really good shimmy for some reason. I don't know why, like, I don't, is this called shimmying? But I'm not gonna show you guys the bottom part, but you can kind of see. And I don't know what it is, but it's like I'll do it at work sometimes without thinking about it, and I'll just be like, look, 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 because, um, well, Jody and I always sit next to each other and we're just goofballs doing stuff all night, and I forget that other people can watch us. It's kind of like with these videos. It's like, I figure that this is for family and friends, and all these people that I don't know and some that I do now know are watching this, and it's like, oh my gosh, so I try not to think about that, so I'm not gonna think about that. But, um, so I'll be doing this, and we're like, woo! And then, like, I'll look up, and all these other people are watching, and they're just like, wow! And I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing! And it's like, where'd you learn to do that? I'm like, I have no idea, I just did it one day. And, um, this is just dumb, what am I talking about this for? Oh, <sighs> am I turning red? Uh, I get embarrassed so easily. Oh, no, I can't tell those stories. Holy cow. But, um, that's one thing with my, like, classes, no matter if they're the good ones or the bad ones, they love making me blush, and I blush easily. <sighs> so, what was I talking about? I don't even know. Um, work today was just like... <sighs> Luckily... Oh, I think that must be in my watch. <gasps> oh my gosh, late... Oh, I hope you can hear me now, because usually making claps and those types of noises makes the mic... Hello, can you hear me? Makes the microphone really bad. But... I had this guy that was trying to break into my apartment while I was here, like, all these times. Like, the first time it happened, I was in my room, I think I was playing a video game or I was reading. I don't remember which one. But it was, um, pretty quiet. So that's why it could have been reading. Or else I was just trying to take a nap. But I was laying down. And, um, um, so I'm, as usual, in my under underwear in my apartment, in my other room, laying down, probably reading. Or playing a video game. And all of a sudden I hear this like da -dung, da -dung, da -dung. I was like, what the freaking heck is that? So I like stop whatever I'm doing, and I'm listening, and I finally just kind of I roll over so I can look out my door, out of my bedroom door, this door over here, and I see like this figure in the there's a it's a frosted glass, just a little tiny window, and I have no like peephole or anything, so it's like all I can rely on is that, and there's this person there, and they're pulling on the door. I'm like, oh my god. It's like, what do I do? What do I do? And so I just stood here, and I'm like, I'm in my underwear. What do I do? And so I put on some clothes finally, and he's like, I wait till he was gone, and then I like open the door to look. And I'm not even thinking, because it's just like, it's Tokyo. This is a huge city. It's pretty safe, but like the stuff in Akihabara has been going on, and all the stabbings throughout uh, Japan, and all sorts of weird stuff. And I'm like a foreigner, and it's totally obvious I'm a foreigner. And so, um, I just opened the door thinking, like, maybe it's one of my friends, because, <laughs> you know, friends like to break into your apartments. But, um, I didn't see anybody. There was nobody there. And I was just like, okay, this is crazy. And, um, so I was kind of like, okay, that's weird. But, um, it kept happening. And finally, I was like, you know what? I think it's a guy that's kind of mentally disturbed that lives in this apartment complex. And last Saturday, about... Um, he was doing it like all the time and it's like I, I was just like er so I opened the door and it was him And I'm just I just gave him this look and I was I was so close to just yelling something and I'm like get away or don't touch or all sorts of stuff And he just kind of looks at me and he kind of runs around in circles and then and like just went to the gate and was just watching me Like he'd gone away or something and I was just like Ugh. So I emailed my landlord and she's like yeah, he's the blah 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 if it happens again call the police I was like oh my gosh So um, I was glad to get that resolved because it was kind of freaky but, yeah. And I've blathered all the way. Um, otherwise, things are pretty good. Oh, poop! I didn't even get to talk about um, Miyoko and Minoru. I got to meet um, my dentist's... A lady that stayed with my dentist 50 years ago. I've met her before, but I went again this past Sunday and spent some time with them and her daughter-in-law and their two grandsons, who are just adorable. The two and four years old, they're so much fun. And, like, the, the four-year-old was crying when I, had to, when I left. It was crazy. So nice, but I hope to see them again. Anyway, um, happy humid time for everybody, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Um, that sounded really weird. Anyway, bye-bye. I have to click stop.